Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today I want to talk about mirror neurons. So a little bit more uh, on the science-y side. Um, I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's useful in this conversation about chronic symptoms. So, relax, take a couple of nice breaths. Let your body relax. Let the muscles loosen up if you can. And if they stay tight, don't worry about it. Do what you can within whatever limitations you've got. So, uh, at the workshop I was at last weekend, uh, they were talking about mirror neurons. And I started thinking about that as it related to chronic symptoms, chronic pains. So let's first define it. That's why I got my glasses on. Mirror neurons are a type of brain cell that responds equally when we perform an action and when we witness someone else perform the same action. Pretty interesting. So for example, when you see somebody smile, your mirror neurons for smiling fire up creating a sensation in your own mind of the feeling associated with smiling. So that's why if you're around a whole bunch of happy people, you start getting happier. If you're around a whole bunch of depressed people, inevitably you're going to get a little bit more depressed. These mirror neurons work in either a positive or a negative way. And so understanding that this is just part of brain science and how the brain works, um, it starts to lend some credibility to one of the things I talk about, which is stay away from the bad neighborhoods. Meaning, you want to surround yourself with people who are uh, more optimistic, hopeful, supportive, positive, right? Because the mirror neurons will ensure that you start to feel some of that vibe. And in the group program that I, I run, um, we hear very similar comments that, wow, I feel really hopeful when I'm here. And yes, sometimes we have some people who are in a really tough spot and they're, you know, in some cases, tears. And um, inevitably, not just me, but the other people in the group will offer words of support. There's a chat and people will type all sorts of encouraging things. You can see people, you know, doing the... Uh, the whole make a heart with your hands, with two hands like that, um, or hand on the heart. It's, it's an extremely supportive environment, and the mirror neurons, even though we're doing it through video, still comes across. Now, I suggested in the past, smile at yourself in the mirror. You know why that makes you feel happier? Mirror neurons. Literally, the mirror. Um, when we smile at ourselves, we're seeing ourselves smile at ourselves, and these mirror neurons fire up, and it starts to activate the feeling of smiling. And along with that comes the emotion of a little uptick in happiness or joy. So take some action, even if you're by yourself, to smile at yourself in the mirror. Give yourself a high five. Why does that work? This comes from Mel Robbins. I'm not taking credit for it. Mel Robbins is a, a famous author and speaker. Um, but she's got a book out called The High Five Habit. And she talks about how the high five is almost universally accepted as, boom, you're awesome. I love you. You're great. I got your back. I support you. And so if you can high five yourself in the mirror right? In the morning, you're giving yourself that universally accepted. Sorry, I was fighting that. Universally accepted, you know, um, lift, support. I got your back. You're awesome. And so I think that involves those mirror neurons as well. So I'm not suggesting that you have to get every negative person out of your life. But 
you know what? If you've got somebody negative in your life and they piss you off or aggravate you, wonder what would happen if we started smiling at them more. You might find that they're smiling back. They might look at you like, what's going on? Why are you smiling at me? But you never know. Mirror neurons work, both positive and negative. So we may as well use it to our benefit, to our advantage. And so it's a neat brain science-y thing. And as we explore how we can apply that to recovery, surround yourself with people who support you, are upbeat, positive. It's a sales pitch for the group coaching, but it's truly, truly an incredible group of people. You won't feel alone going through this journey by yourself. I know a lot of people get sketched out and nervous about, you know, getting on camera or talking. Or, but those people who do take that leap inevitably are glad that they did because they find they've got such incredible support, not just for me, but the other group members. Um, it's almost like the group is, you know, mirror neurons times, you know, 20, 30, however many people are in the Zoom call at that one time. And uh, you may as well take advantage of how the brain works to give yourself that positive boost. So anyway, I hope you guys like this concept. If anything, smile at yourself. Give yourself that high five in the mirror. Every time you're in the bathroom, high five and smile at yourself. Did a video a long time ago, a few years ago. Smile like a crazy person. Because inevitably, if you get in front of the mirror and do this, you're inevitably going to naturally smile because the mirror neurons are going to come back to you. It's going to influence your mood in a positive direction. That's also why if you're struggling with symptoms, smiling at them can help because we feel the muscles change. We know what that feels like in our face. And it will lift our mood. And if you're really struggling, go smile at yourself in the mirror. Get these mirror neurons coming back to you to lift you up. Lift your mood. Lift your spirit. Make you realize that taking this thing so darn serious isn't really that helpful. It's really not helpful at all. Ease up. Lighten up. And I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way. But lighten up. Smile a bit. If there's somebody challenging in your life, smile at them. See what happens. And don't do it in a mocking way or a sinister evil way. You know. But smile at the people in your life. And we, you may just find that they smile back. And that can cut some tension in a difficult, you know, interpersonal situation. So let me know what you think about these mirror neurons. Have you ever noticed that you go into a party and everybody's laughing and having a good time? Before you know it, you are too. You ever go into a place, a meeting, and everybody's downtrodden and miserable and serious? And before you know it, you are too. So notice these things in reality that this exists. This is science. This is not Dan making this stuff up. And since this is the reality of how the brain and the neurons in the brain work, these mirror neurons, we may as well use them to our advantage. You know, let's, let's take any advantage we can find. So, comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to wrap this up. See you guys tomorrow. And uh, love you. Here's a high five for you. And a smile. Take care.